Our updates coming first thing in the morning. Let's move now to Ford's major announcement with the Dearborn automaker going all in on electric vehicles with an $11 billion investment. They'll create thousands and thousands of new jobs. Jason Coltharp live outside Ford World headquarters. A lot of headlines being made actually tonight on this announcement, Jason. Really, it really is, Devin, and you probably could have connected the dots here uh, given Ford's recent moves. I mean, the rollout of the Lightning here just a few months ago when we, we were here was a huge event. Still promising to make almost half your fleet electric in less than a decade. Many would call that pretty bold. 150,000 orders already in for the Lightning, the all-electric F-150, and that appears to be a jumping-off point for Ford. The automaker tonight promising that 40% of all vehicles will be battery-powered by 2030. Bill Ford told NBC News exclusively why his company is doing this now. Because everything's changing. If my great-grandfather saw our industry five years ago, it would be very recognizable to him. Now we're on the cusp of a revolution. That revolution of course includes the Rouge plant in Dearborn where the Lightning is being built but it also includes two new battery plants in Kentucky and another facility in Tennessee. Ford also promising more jobs and investment at the other plants in Michigan. You think about it there really is no American battery industry. This is the first uh, beachhead for that and uh, it'll be in Kentucky and in Tennessee. Will it go elsewhere? Yeah, I absolutely will. The um, UAW all smiles tonight, praising Ford for investing in America and creating 11,000 new jobs. But Ford leaving the door open for global expansion. Look, we, we make manufacture all over the world. Someday might we do a plant in Mexico? Yeah, we could. But, you know, it was really important to me that our flagship project happen here in America. And that could mean very good things for all the plants in Michigan, for sure. Now, all the major automakers have taken major step forward, steps forward in the EV industry, uh, and all echoing pretty much what Bill Ford said today. Electrification is coming, and we want to be on the forefront of that. Devin? Well, and Jason, the decision makers at not only Ford, but all the automakers know that they have to deal with these, with a lot of buyers who really aren't ready to give up on the roar of an engine and, and, and doing it the old gasoline way, right? He, he had a very quick answer to that very uh, concern for the buyer, and he would speak directly to them and say, just try it. I know you've <laughs> been down this road. People yes. worry about what that's going to be. Am, am I going to be able to go when, when I want to go? And I, I remember one of the executives here with the Lightning said, you're going to hit that pedal, and it's going to go from zero to 60 in four seconds in an electric vehicle. I feel Back far more likely to get a case of whiplash in the Mustang Mach-E than in the other 